Welcome back to demonstration video of short circuit analysis using IEC 60909 standard in ETAP. Now that we are done with the maximum short circuit level, we can now calculate minimum short circuit level. For calculating minimum short circuit level, we have to create a new operating condition or the new configuration of the system. So for creating a new configuration, what do we do? We go to this edit mode. And now what we have to create is we have to create a new configuration. So I will go to the configuration manager, click on configuration manager. My configuration manager has opened and I am going to create a new configuration manager. And what is the name? This time this is going to be minimum. And when I press OK, so now I have a new configuration available. So what about this configuration? If you see here, we have two power grids. One is with a short circuit capacity of 1250 MVA short circuit and the other one is with a short circuit capacity of 1600 MVA short circuit. So surely the power grid with a capacity of 1250 MVA short circuit is the weaker one. So when we are performing minimum, we need the higher impedances. If you see the impedance here is 0.22484 and here this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my minimum short circuit level here which has the least short circuit level so what i can do now is i will simply go to the cb line 2 and let us make this one open so where is my cb line 2 here for the minimum this should be open so i am going to make this open so moving on what do i have here so here if you see I have two transformers. So what I can do is in order to calculate the maximum short circuit, I can uh, minimum short circuit. What I can do is I can shut down one transformer. So in order to shut down this transformer, I have to make this TF2 HVCB and TF2 incomer as open. So I will go here. I will search for my circuit breaker, which I am looking for. So TF2 HVCB, this should be open and TF2 incomer, this should also be open. So in the same way, moving on, let me press OK. So in the same way, moving on, what I can do is I can switch this transformer and this transformer off as well so that I have the maximum possible impedance available in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. You can do the same and then we will perform minimum short circuit. So now I have adjusted the configuration uh, to give you another tip on ETAP and making your life easy. If you go to configuration manager, you have this selection. So if you select all AC element, you see all the AC elements in your system are coming here. And if you want to select only circuit breakers, what you can do, you can select circuit breakers. So this way, all the other equipment is going to be filtered out and your life is going to become easy. So what we have done for HVCB, we have opened some of the breakers. Like we have opened transformer T, uh, T2, we have opened transformer T3 and we have opened transformer T6 and because T6 has LV side breaker also. So when I go to see, you see T6 incomer is open. So this way you can select the configuration. So we are done with the configuration. This is my maximum configuration in which nothing is open. So if I select from here maximum this configuration and I select minimum. See, I have this new configuration where this power grid 2 is open. My transformer T2 is open, my transformer T3 is open, and my transformer T6 is open. So with this configuration, what I can do next is perform my minimum short circuit. So how can I calculate minimum short circuit current? So once again, I'm going to go to short circuit. And again, I'm going to select this edit case study. This time in standard. IC standard, but this time I am interested in minimum. 
so i'm excluding duty cycle and i want the minimum and the design category i am using so same method c everything else same for me and when i press ok so i have this new configuration selected now because i want another report for this so i am going to go to this list output report from here i am going to select prompt again so that when this uh, simulation is performed i get the minimum short circuit so for this i am going to perform this ic60909 because now i am not calculating the duty so i am not getting this value so ic60909 so this is going to be minimum underscore short circuit and when i press ok so here i have and how do i want to see the results you can simply go to this display option and i am looking for three phase results yeah so i have selected three phase for ac so different options are there so for the results i am more interested in three phase so let me select three phase here and press ok why it is showing zero kv because it is now what has happened if you see here this is my uh, magnitude and this is my angle i am more interested in the magnitude and if you see here before the maximum short circuit current was 11.218 but in this case i am only getting 4.608 similarly at my 13.8 kv level my short circuit level was around 29 kilo ampere so now it is 10.166 kilo ampere for bus a or 4.16 level my short circuit level was around 11 kilo ampere now it is 4.1 and for 0.48 or lv bus now this is 12.28 so this way you can get and now etap has calculated because i use 660909 so it has calculated other short circuit levels for me as well if i want to see them i can go to this display option let us select line to ground fault and what do i want to see in so i do i want to see the phase values or i want to see the total fault current so i am more interested in the total fault current i can also get the sequence currents but let's see what is the total fault current and when i press ok so there you go so this is my single line to ground fault and i can select line to line fault in the same way line to line to ground in the same way or i can select three phase if i select three phase okay so this is my three phase so this is how you can perform short circuit analysis for different configurations and for the different types of fault